Hi guys, it's me Mom Rods again and today we're going to talk about the definition of terms. In this topic, our objectives are to define important terms used in the study and differentiate conceptual definition and operational definition. To gauge your schema in defining terms in a study, let's have this activity. Identify whether the definition is conceptual, operational, or a combination of both. Eating disorders, a group of behaviors fueled by unresolved emotional conflicts resulting in altered food consumption. Grodner, 2005. As used in this study, it pertains to the kind of food, frequency of eating, and amount of intake or consumption. Ethics, a branch of philosophy that addresses questions of right or wrong. It is a term that refers to the various ways of understanding and examining moral life. Maps 2002. Leadership Styles this refer to the style of management practiced by the deans, which may be autocratic or participative and measured by Likert scale. Study habits, the ways or activities an individual learns. Study habits. As used in this research, this pertain to the routinary study method utilized by students like memorization, use of the internet, going to the library, and peer review. The definition of terms is crucial as it provides context to the readers in understanding certain words or concepts used in the research study. Types of definition The conceptual definition is when a term is defined using books and dictionaries. An operational definition is when the definition of the term is based on how it is used in the study. We have here terms defined in the study of Morales, C.J. et al., 2011. The term that they defined is ethnonursing. As you can see in the first sentence, it is a conceptual definition of the term, while the second sentence introduced by the phrase in this study is an operational definition of the term. Another important term they defined in their study is nursing intervention. In this definition, the first sentence is a conceptual definition which is sourced out from a reference material, while the second sentence is an operational definition which states how they use the term in their study. The definition of terms is the part of the paper where you define important terms which have unique or special meaning in the study. This may come from the research title, the problem statement, the variables, or even the respondents of your study. When you define terms in your study, they must be arranged alphabetically and acronyms must be spelled out. When you define terms conceptually, look for varied sources or references and choose the definition that is most relevant to your topic or to the focus of your study. Do not also forget to cite your sources or reference material. Remember that definition of terms is used in order to 
give clear and better understanding to your readers. These are the answers to the activity prior to the discussion of definition of terms. To check if you achieved the objectives in this topic, choose one important term in your study, write its conceptual and operational definition in the comment box. Do not forget to cite your sources for your conceptual definition. And that's it for today's topic of the Practical Research 2 lesson series. I'll see you in our next topic. Matane!